unraveling the enigma of Anjakuni, a chilling mystery that defies explanation. Step into the mystifying tale of Anjakuni, a once thriving village nestled by a snow covered lake in Canada's Kivalik region. What began as a picturesque settlement transformed into a chilling enigma in the winter of 1930, as the village seemingly vanished without a trace. Join us as we delve into the perplexing events that unfolded on that fateful night, exploring the eerie silence, the abandoned homes, and the inexplicable absence of an entire community. The mystery of Anjakuni lingers, inviting us to unravel its secrets and ponder the unexplained forces that may have played a role in the village's disappearance. An Enigma Unveiled, The Puzzling Tale of Anjakuni Once upon a time, in the frigid expanse of Canada's Kivalik region, there lay a serene, snow-covered lake named Anjakuni. In the early 1930s, an adventurous old jailer, captivated by the promise of freshwater fish, set foot in this isolated haven. The Eskimo Inuit people, drawn to the abundant aquatic life, soon joined him. The jailer, enamored by the active presence of fish in the shallow depths, promptly pitched his tent, lit a warming fire, and fashioned a humble dwelling from straw. Impressed by the region's charm and resources, the jailer conveyed the news to his tribe. Trusting in his judgment, the tribe flocked to Anjakuni in the Kivalik region of Canada, and a settlement of 2,000 people emerged, christened Anjakuni Village in honor of the lake. The villagers thrived on freshwater fish, crafting delicious meals and indulging in warm brews. Anjakuni became a hub of hospitality, attracting passers-by and hunters alike. The village garnered a reputation as a scenic leisure spot, nestled in the heart of natural beauty. However, the tranquil life of Anjakuni took an ominous turn on a cold November night in 1930. Joe Label, a Canadian hunter well acquainted with the village, embarked on the familiar trail for a social evening. Anticipating warm conversations over brewed wine, Label was eager to reunite with the Gutiktok family and the simple folk of Anjakuni. As Label approached the village, he noticed an eerie silence that contrasted sharply with his previous visits. The once lively atmosphere had vanished, replaced by an unsettling quietude. Despite the moon's bright silver glow, there was a conspicuous absence of familiar faces. Perplexed, Label assumed the villagers might be asleep due to the late hour. Undeterred, he ventured further into the village, calling out names and searching for signs of life. To his dismay, there was no response. House after house stood empty, with abandoned half-cooked meals and everyday items strewn about. A chilling realization dawned on Label. He was utterly alone in the deserted village. Overwhelmed by an unknown fear, he hurriedly exited Anjakuni and sought help from the nearby security forces. Describing the mysterious emptiness, Label's report prompted a swift response from a group of 400 members who combed the area, but found no trace of human life. What they discovered, however, sent shivers down their spines. Empty graves lined up in the village hinted at a macabre occurrence, bodies mysteriously missing. The frozen remains of seven pet sled dogs lay along the trail, bearing the marks of a fierce encounter. The security forces, perplexed and unsettled, could not unravel the enigma. Subsequent investigations by intelligence agencies disputed Label's claims, asserting that Anjakuni had never been inhabited. The official report contradicted the evidence found by the security forces, leaving lingering questions about the existence of the village and its sudden disappearance. Intriguingly, witnesses from surrounding villages reported seeing a peculiar blue light in Anjakuni's sky days before the incident. Despite these accounts, the mystery endured, with the intelligence agencies maintaining a stance of denial. The Ramhashark incident's aftermath saw the release of an official report dismissing Label's narrative as false. The contradictory nature of the report, however, fueled further speculation. If Anjakuni had never existed, 
Who had left behind the deserted settlement and the unmistakable traces of Inuit inhabitants? To this day, the mystery of Anjakuni's disappearance remains unsolved. The veil shrouding the events of that fateful night refuses to lift, leaving room for speculation about supernatural occurrences. The enigma persists, a haunting reminder of a village that vanished without a trace, leaving only questions in its wake. Conclusion In the shadowy realm of Anjakuni, the mystery endures, leaving us with more questions than answers. The eerie silence of that fateful night, the empty graves, and the inexplicable absence of an entire village remain enigmatic. Despite official denials and conflicting accounts, the haunting tale of Anjakuni continues to captivate the imagination. As we conclude our exploration, the elusive truth behind the disappearance lingers, a chilling reminder of a community lost in the folds of an unsolved mystery. The enigma of Anjakuni challenges us to embrace the unknown and contemplate the supernatural forces that may forever shroud this once thriving village in mystery.